Here's how you can get ChatGPT as a keyboard on both Android and an iPhone. So this video is actually going to be in two sections. So in case you are an iPhone user, you can just go to the iPhone section and in case you are an Android user too, you stick to the Android section. Or you can learn both and then you can implement it anytime. Let's check how we do it. So for Android users, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Play Store and then you look for this app right here, Smart Typer AI Keyboard. So after you are done, you're going to go to your browser and then you're going to type in ChatGPT keys right here. Don't worry, I'm actually going to leave the link to this website in my description and make sure you log in to ChatGPT before you are going to be able to get your keys. So you're going to see the key right here. So I'm going to tap on this section and I'm going to generate the key, which I can show to you guys. And I'm going to copy the key. And once I'm done copying the key, you see I've copied the key right here, AI key copied. And I'm going to go to the app, Smart Typer, and you are going to see how I'm going to do this. So this is what you're going to do. It's going to give you this kind of pop-ups and then you are allow. And then you ask Smart Typer as a keyboard. So you turn it on like this. And when you are done, you're going to come to this section right here where it says, Open AI API key. So you're going to tap on this section and then you are going to input your AI keys you copied on the AI website I actually taught you guys. So this is the AI key. I've pasted the AI key. I'm going to tap on this section and then I'm going to save it over here. So I've saved it and that is it right here. So now when we go to our WhatsApp and then we try texting anyone or any messenger we use, we are going to be able to use um, ChatGPT by clicking on this side and then go switching to the smart typer keyboard you're going to see it right here so let's say we are going to tape okay i generate a literature review i'm just going to use some example right here and this keyboard doesn't give you a prediction because it doesn't know what you are trying to type so you are supposed to type everything yourself a literature review on organochlorines after you are done typing whatever you've typed in the key in the section right here you tap on generate and it's actually going to generate everything for you and you are going to see it and a blink and the speed right now is not really great but it does whatever it's supposed to do for you so you can see right here it has given me the literature review and it's really really cool so i'm going to tap on the side and you guys are going to see it right here and it has given me all the literature review i'm supposed to get right here and that is pretty much very cool so in case you want to do any research or you want to check for anything in case someone asks you a question and all that you can just come to this side and then type in the question the person asked you or you can paste the question the person asked you and then you tap on this side right here and it's going to generate your response for you this is really really dope so in case you try this and you love it just let me know in the comment section and let's check out the other one for the iphone users too. so if you're an iphone user what you're supposed to do is to go to your app store and then you search for this browser right here xeno ai keyboard xeno ai keyboard i'm actually going to leave the links to all their apps in my description so no problems and what you're going to do next is you're going to open the app and it's going to give you all the necessary things you need to do so you tap on the side to just add it as a keyboard and it's going to be around here so when you see it you're just going to add it and it's going to pop up around here and that is pretty much very cool so afterwards when you go to any chat or anywhere um you want to just get this demonstration done or you want to use this what you're going to do is let's say you tap on this side and then you bring the keyboard right here i'm going to use the xeno right here and whenever you start typing you're going to see ChatGPT 3 and then ChatGPT 4 here so ChatGPT 3 doesn't have any inscription by it you're going to see it just as ChatGPT. so let's say I'm going to see give me five TikTok video ideas on comedy. So you're going to see how this is actually going to present to us. And after you are done, you're just going to tap on this side right here. And it's going to give you everything in a blink. Depending on the network you're actually having, you're going to have everything right here. And that is pretty much very cool. The only downside I don't like about this one is it's actually going to include the question you actually typed and you're going to have it right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to edit the question. I'm going to delete this right here. And then you are going to send it or you're going to paste it wherever you feel it so you can see right here this is the first one and then there's the second one and then this is the third one right here and then this is the fourth one and then there's the fifth one so you can just check out and then also use this which is actually going to help you in case you want to use chat gpt4 too what you're going to do is let's say you type in give me five video ideas you are just supposed to copy it right here when you copy everything right here and then you come to chat gpt4 it's actually going to ask you if you want to paste you tap on allow paste and it's going to do the necessary thing for you so chat gpt4 you are supposed to paste it when you are trying to give me a command for you so after you paste it this is what you are going to see right here and that is pretty much very cool so try this out and then if you find it very helpful to you just let me know in the comment section like this video up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check this video out here in case you missed my previous video and i'm gonna catch you in the next one peace